So today I'm going to talk about another performance hack. I spoke about the power of setting small goals last time and I just want to extend that concept a little bit to make sure that whatever we're doing at work or in our personal lives, we're doing it a little bit better every day. So I will be talking about two things today. One is something called the aggregation of marginal gains and the other is the law of least effort and how these two come together to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're putting in your optimal performance. So I'm sure many of you would have read this book called Atomic Gains by James Clear and this is the um, concept that comes from there and uh, it's very relevant to the small goal setting that I spoke about because what James Clear says is that if you improve by 1% every day in whatever you're doing, you have the potential to improve by 37 times by the end of the year. But how do you apply it, right? What does it mean for you? So let's say your goal is fitness and today you are capable of walking 500 steps a day. And I come to you and I say, no, to meet your fitness goal, you must walk 20,000 steps daily and you should do it starting tomorrow. You look at me like this woman has got nuts. How can I just jump from 500 to 20,000 steps in a day? That's insane, that's unachievable, right? And this is where marginal gains makes things easy because it asks you to only improve by 1% every day. So today if you're walking 500 steps, you walk 550 tomorrow. That's not so difficult, right? Just to make additional 50 steps, not much effort. You walk down to the store, buy something, come back, you've done more than 50 steps, right? So you see that it's easy and you're like, okay, fine, I will do that. And then the day after, I ask you to do another 1% more than that and so on and so forth every day. So by the time a year is over, you would be doing close to 20,000 steps or 18,000 something, but yes, we're not doing exact math here. Uh, but you'll be very close to the fitness goal that seemed unachievable at the beginning of the year. And that's the beauty of marginal gains. Small, small improvements every day, in every day things can result in big gains. Uh, now I want to bring in the other part of it, the beautiful part of it, which is the law of least effort. And what the law of least effort says is that human beings and even machines and you know, even nature tries to take the path of least resistance. So we go in the direction that has the lowest obstacles for us. So now how do these two concepts come together? Right? The, marginal gains plus law of least effort. So you have decided that here are the three things that I'm going to apply marginal gains to and let's say step increasing your number of steps is the first thing that you want to do. Applying the law of least effort means to make it easier for you to do those increments on a daily basis. Right? How do I make it easy for me to take those steps so that I'm more likely to do them? Are you with me till now? because you're making conditions simpler for yourself and therefore you're more likely to follow through on what you've decided. So let me go back to the steps example, right? You want to take 500 plus extra steps every single day. Maybe you start walking at a time when it's cooler, right? Maybe early in the morning, late in the evening, so you don't perspire so much, you don't get tired out so much, right? That is making it easier for Yourself. Maybe you wear loose clothing, maybe you carry a water bottle with you to make sure you stay hydrated and you don't cut your walk short and come back. Right? So these are small, small things surrounding your key goal that have made achieving that goal easier for you. Right? And I'm just giving you a fitness example, but this is applicable in so many places at work as well, right? Can you spend five minutes planning every day morning so that things get more streamlined during the course of the work? Can you apply concepts like deep work or fragmented work, which I'm, you know, I could talk about in another video, to make sure that your focus is not diluted while you're doing something critical? So ultimately, achieving big things in life is not that difficult. It's just the way you go about doing that that makes a hell lot of a difference. So. Let me know your views on if you've experimented with the concept of marginal gains or the law of least effort and how it's worked out for you. Very happy to hear your views. Leave them in comments below and follow the channel for more videos. Thank you.